Uh, the first question is, what is the best shawl vinyl plank flooring? This is an easy one. I'll take okay, it. Okay, go ahead. We're not going to answer that question. Okay, what's more important, not so much as what is the best floor, because then we run into opinions. The way we sell LVP and the rest of our floors is we educate you to what the different criteria, okay, all the different attributes of a floor, and then you decide which one is best for your application. I mean, what if we walked up to a car dealership? I'd like to buy your best vehicle. Be the most expensive, probably. But. They'd look at you like you're some sort of idiot. Well, wh what are you going to do with it? You don't need to know what I'm doing with it. It's none of your business. I just want to know what the best is. So you walk out of there with this really nice Cadillac, and then you try to haul your lawnmower with it. It ain't going to work out too good, okay? It's real important that you either, you know, study those attributes and apply them yourself, or you find a really smart, honest, good-looking salesperson like myself, to, you know, to help you select your products, right? So anyway, enough of the serious stuff. Uh, best vinyl plank flooring. When, when we're shopping for LVP, some of the, the most common attributes that determine the longevity, um, wear layer, you know, what is the thickness of the wear layer? You can buy wear layer in some of these box stores down to a three mil now, I think. We don't sell anything under a 12 mil. I don't think we would wear through a six mil or an eight mil in a lot of applications, but there's some other characteristics down in the floor that we can't get in anything thinner than a 12. So we want at least a 12 mil wear layer, 20 is better, we can get by with 12, okay? Um, after that, what is that wear layer made of? Some, you know, when in, in your lower end floors, you tend to get a little softer finish. I personally love aluminum oxide, okay? Our seven series from Shaw. Uh, features an aluminum oxide wear layer and I don't want to oversell it because it, it starts to sound a little old but aluminum oxide is extremely scratch resistant it's it's the most scratch resistant surface that we can get on a floor and if I'm if I'm gonna buy a floor or a car I don't mind paying another 10% if you can double the lifetime. I honestly think that aluminum oxide finish will double the lifetime of a floor. Because honestly, when we're talking about what a lifetime of floor is, what we're talking about is change in appearance. We're not asking how long that floor lasts. That floor is going to have a change in gloss level over time from wear. With aluminum oxide, it's going to be much further down the road than it is you know, with some of the other finishes offered. So that's my point on that. The wear layer, the thickness is important. What it's made out of is more important. The next attribute that you'll hear thrown around a lot is overall thickness. Overall thickness, I really don't care about. We can, we can, make, we can put bricks on the back of it and make it that thick if you think it'll wear. It won't make it more durable and it won't make it more stable. What we're looking for is uh, the, the balancing layers. Um, LVP is made not unlike a piece of plywood where they alternate the levels or the, the layers and if you take out some of those layers you're going to create a product that's less stable. Stability is probably just as important as that, that wear layer on the top. You can't see it until you have problems. Uh -huh. You have problems with stability, now you've got some serious issues. You've got floors that are pulling apart, or you've got floors that are uh, expanding and, and rising up, and you don't want that. It's all about stability. And a lot of the control of the stability you have, you know, is your, is your house, or you, do you have a tremendous amount of direct sunlight? Do you have a lot of high humidity or humidity changes? If you do, you need to go with a higher quality product. If you have a lot of direct sunlight and you put one of those six mils in there that doesn't have a balancing layer, chances of you having problems are great. And that's not going to be covered by a warranty because it's not a manufacturing defect. Going back to that car analogy, we can't go buy a Fiesta, or they, make, they don't make Fiestas anymore, do they? Can't go buy an inexpensive car and then gripe it won't run 120. All right, that's not a warranty issue. Try taking that Fiesta back and saying, hey, I need to get my money back. This car won't run 120. It wasn't intended to run 120. It's a cheap car. Same thing, don't have high expectations out of cheap floors, okay? It's, it's not gonna happen. Um, after that, really, everything else is sort of window dressing, whether you get the attached back, doesn't affect the durability. Um, the registered embossing, it's beautiful, it looks great, won't affect the, uh, the longevity of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Our top floors will have registered embossing. Does that mean they're better than a floor that doesn't have it? No, it's just another attribute, okay? 
Um, so what we do when you get on our landing page, our, our LVP landing page, it should be up in a couple, a couple of weeks, we try to define and exemplify all of these attributes and let you decide what's important to you. You want air conditioner on this car? If you do, you're going to have to pay for it. If you don't need it, then don't buy it, okay? So, so look through the different products, look through the attributes, find out what's important to, important to you, and then buy you a floor that, uh, that has them. None of our LVPs are expensive, okay? You're not, none of them are going to break you up. So just, just find what criteria you need to make you happy long-term. Pull the trigger. Next question. Did I go on a little too long on yeah, that? Yeah, a little too long, but you did a good job. Thanks, Jason. Yeah. You always were the nicest brother. I know. <laughs>